Welcome back guys. Our next point of discussion, our all our next topic that we are going to discuss today is uh, what we call uh, pelvic inflammatory disease which is common to uh, women of uh, reproductive age and uh, before we go to our discussion please let's continue subscribing liking and sharing our videos so that they may reach as many people as possible back to our topic what is PID or what is pelvic inflammatory disease <clears throat> this is an infection of the female reproductive organs that occurs when sexually transmitted bacteria spread from the vagina to the uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries some some women don't realize till they start having problems to conceive or uh, getting pregnant or rather they may also develop chronic pelvic pain what are the signs and symptoms of pelvic inflammatory disease one there is what we call a pain which may be mild to severe and uh, it's always in the lower abdomen number two pain during or when having sexual intercourse number three there is what we call unusual heavy vaginal smelly discharge next point we have what we call uh, fever and chills we have difficulties in urination uh, we have pain or burning sensation during urination and also we have what we call unusual unusual bleeding from the vagina especially between periods or during sex <clears throat> note that if you have signs of PID even if not severe you should see a doctor reason being that it might be also a sign of another urinary tract infection or sexually transmitted disease let's come to the causes many okay uh, pelvic inflammatory disease is always caused by a bacteria but gonorrhea or chlamydia also other types of uh, also other causes this bacteria are acquired during unprotected sex what are the risk factors to pelvic inflammatory disease one having multiple sexual partners especially you guys you like having so many girlfriends so many boyfriends so ladies if you have so many boyfriends you are at risk of having a pelvic inflammatory disease next point is what we call unprotected sex we have what we call dodging dodging it kills bacteria found in the vagina which is called normoflora this provides protection to a lady so when this bacteria dies other bacteria which just enter through the vagina to the uterus and to the ovaries and this will cause pelvic inflammatory disease Another point is being in a sexual relationship with someone who has many sex partners. Another point is being sexually active and young than 25 day, 25 years sorry. This may also predispose one to getting a pelvic inflammatory disease. Another point is having history of pelvic inflammatory disease or PID this brings to the end of our discussion today tomorrow we are going to go to discuss about uh, the, the, the uh, what we call medication prevention 
and uh, how to diagnose a patient with uh, PID and I hope you guys are getting more knowledge and it's helping you out. Have a good day, have a good weekend and uh, guys you take care of yourself and uh, peace always. Thank you.